Native American, Keneha, Keachania, Selela, Selekia Sota. Native American here. We just want to thank everybody for being here today. If you've tuned in before, thank you again. If you're new, welcome and thank you for tuning in today. Today we're going to be sewing patchwork onto a shirt. Right now we're just getting all of our stuff prepared, our space ready and clean. So this is what we will be making today all right here. We gotta get our strips ready. We'll be cutting our outer strips two inches and inner strips one and a half inches. So we're gonna start with our yellow strip. And we're gonna sew a one and a half strip to the yellow strip. And when you're sewing, you wanna make sure the foot is lined up with the edge all the way down and that your strips are nice and lined up evenly all the way down to the end. Once you have your first strip sewn together, you can iron them flat just to keep it neat all the way through. Once you sew each strip, you can iron it as you go. So our next strip, white strip, will be one and a half inches. And we have two separate strips just because that's all we had, so we'll have to sew an additional strip next to it. Now we are sewing our additional strip on. You can do this if you don't have a strip long enough. Trim the excess material and iron. So our next strip, the red strip, will be an outer strip so it is two inches. Go ahead and sew that on. So once we have all of our strips sewn together, you can iron it. And next, we're going to fold our strips in half with the front facing outwards. So fold your strips in half, front facing outwards, and we're going to take it back to our board. With these cuts, we're going to use the 45 line. So when we make our first cut, we want to make sure our material is lined up, top and bottom, nice and straight along the line, and cut along the 45. So this is our first cut. We won't be using those pieces. Once you have your first cut, from the 45 line, move your material over three inches. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then use your straight edge and line it up on the 45. 
and just cut right along the 45. This will create two strips that look like that. Now we're just gonna repeat this process. So we're down to the last of our material and we just want to use as much of it as we can. So this has a little cut, we'll just have to toss it or work with it later. So once we have all our material cut, we're just going to plan out our design. Make sure all of our strips turned out nice and neat. So when sewing our design, we're going to flip one on top of the other, like so. Make sure it's nice and lined up straight and just line the material up with the edge of the foot and so straight down, making sure your material stays nice and even all the way down. Once it's sewn, we iron as we go and move on to our next piece. And we'll do it the exact same, just add it to what we already have and flip it over. Sewing right along the edge, keeping it nice and straight. We iron as we go and just repeat this process until we're out of strips. So now that we've sewn all of our strips together, we have our design, 
Now we just need to trim it up and add some binding. We're gonna make sure it's all lined up and we're just gonna cut those pointed edges off, which is about two inches on both sides. Once we have the design all trimmed up, we're gonna take it back to the machine where we are going to add some binding. So this is the only binding we have. So it's what we will be using. You wanna cut it as long, maybe a little longer than the design. And there is a shorter piece. You want the shorter side to be on the front the shorter side of the binding to be on the front. And you wanna sew along the inside edge of the binding. And we're gonna do this for both sides. So if there's any excess thread or binding, go ahead and trim that off as you go. Makes it easier in the end. Trim the excess, thread and binding. Once we have that trimmed, we're going to fold, fold the ends. We're going to fold the ends in and sew them down for both sides. So you can fold the ends in and iron it down to make it stay and make it easier to sew down. So once we have the binding and the ends hemmed, we're going to get a t-shirt and we can use our board as a stabilizer. For when we put our pins in, we're going to pin the design onto the shirt how we want it. We want to make sure our shirt is nice and flat so that we can get our design nice and flat. So this is how we are going to sew on our design. We're going to pin it like so so that it does not move while we're sewing it. Once we have all the pins in, we're going to take the shirt off the board and take it back to the sewing machine. And we're going to insert the shirt onto the sewing machine. We're going to sew the bottom edge first and you can sew right along the outer edge of the binding. And we're going to take out the pins as we go, like so. Trim the excess thread. And we're just going to push the shirt up to the top side. 
and so on the outer edge of the binding making sure everything stays nice and smooth you want to keep a little tension So now we're going to take out our pins and we're going to sew the ends onto the shirt. We're going to have to change the direction of our shirt and sew on the outer edge of that end. You can add back stitches to make it stronger. Trim your excess thread and let's do the other side. So this is what we have so far. It looks really good. We're just trimming up some excess thread. Checking it out. And we're gonna turn it inside out and trim the excess thread on the inside. Give it a shape. Check it out. Native American just wants to thank you for being here and thank you for supporting us and helping us pass this on. Thank you.